I'm Paul Cotton. What's going on, everybody? Hey, look here. I got a project going on here in the shop today. And uh, we're doing a shop project. So, yeah, I'm in my shop. I got a huge shop. And it's got tools everywhere. It's a mess. But, hey, that's a shop. Look here. I work on a lot of projects around here. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. And, hey, I appreciate it. Uh, today I'm working on a boat motor. I, uh... I do that from time to time, work on my own engines and stuff, saves me a lot of money. I got a 15 horsepower Yamaha that is a 2013 model and uh, bought it a while back ago. Been a good motor, I have to maintain it, but it's been a good one. Uh, to let y'all know, the difference between a 15, you know, a 20 and a 25 horsepower is some, you know, a couple thousand dollars. And uh, the F-15 series Yamaha, four-stroke. I'm going to tell you a little something about it before we get into the project. 15 horsepower engine. Now, there's going to be people debate this. There's going to be people say, oh, and that don't work that way. Well, it does work quite that way. I'm going to tell you. Uh, so, whoever tells you any different, don't know what you're talking about. A 15 horsepower engine on, a say, a 14-foot aluminum boat, John boat. We'll run about 17 mile out, okay? 17, 18 mile out with a couple people in it. All right, you take a 20 horsepower Yamaha engine, it'll run about 24 mile an hour with a couple people in it. You take a 25 horsepower engine, you're getting 28 to 30 mile an hour in a 14 foot John Bolt, maybe a little faster. Well, I'm gonna tell you a little secret about the 15. The 15 horsepower four, Yamaha four stroke F series engine is the exact same engine as a 20. I know this is where it's gonna get technical. You boys are gonna say he don't know what he's talking about. Look specs up on the boat motor, the piston, everything. Look all the specs up on the engine. The engine is exactly the same as a 20 horsepower. Now, the only difference is it's a carburetor. Just like the old engines, it ain't it ain't the reed valves, it ain't the pistons, it ain't the you know the the crank. No. The engine is exactly the same. Look specs up. Put them side by side. They're the same. The same engine. Okay, a carburetor for that motor can run you anywhere between about $65 to $200, depending on where you get it and who you buy it from. Online. Now, you take a 20 horsepower carburetor and you put it on that 15 horsepower Yamaha, you have got a 15 horsepower engine. You how do I know? Because you can tell by the speed of the boat. I mean, it picks up a whole lot quicker. It runs faster. All right, I went a step further on that, and I put a 20, a 20 to a 20. You'll find out that a 15 to, to a 20 horsepower carburetor fits that engine. A 20 to a 25 fits the same engine. Um, and they also fit the 15. Now, the only difference in a 25 carburetor, the jet's just a little bit bigger. Now, what I do, and I, I, I got one right here. Here's a carburetor right here. They all the same. Every carburetor's the same on. Uh, they look the same. Same size. The only difference is a jet. Now that being said, uh, I ordered a brand new. Instead of 15 to a 20, I ordered a 20 to a 25. If you want to look at this carburetor right here, they are the same carburetor. Except for the throat's just a little bit bigger and it gets a little bit more airflow. See that right there? Now, is this gonna hurt anything? Nope. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. Matter of fact, it's gonna give me a little more horsepower. What I found out, you put the 20 horsepower carburetor on 15 horsepower motor, you get about 16, 17 more, more, more mile an hour out of the boat motor. Okay? I've already put a 20 to a 25 on there, and I, and I got, I put a 20 horsepower carburetor on there, and I got, you know, about 16 more mile an hour out of it. Put a 25 on there, and I got almost 30 mile an hour out of my boot. That's right. Now, don't hurt it, runs good. So, what I'm doing today, I'm installing a new carburetor, because my diaphragm blowed in my old one. It idle, it, it idle and it'll run in with you if it blows, but it just won't get on a plane. So instead of me buying a kit, I bought a new carburetor. Now, I bought a new carburetor. This is what the video is about. I bought a new carburetor. Well, I didn't send me a gasket to go in my carburetor. So I'm going to show you all the old way how we used to make gaskets 
for anything that you put on the car, especially carbureted engines. So hang with me and we're gonna get right to it. All right, everybody. You just take a standard piece of gasket material like this right here is all, all of, you know, all a gasket's made out of it. Now they sent me a brand new carburetor and they didn't send me a new gasket, which kind of aggravated me. But hey, you know, it is what it is. That's the way it is here in life nowadays. All right, take your piece of gasket material here and make sure it will cover the throat on your carburetor. See, just like that right there. What we're going to do is we're going to take this copper and I'll show you the easy way to do it now. There ain't no way to trace that. I mean, you can tap it around with a hammer and get an indention on it, but I got a better way. Let me show you. You take some white paint, yellow paint, you know, some colored paint. Put a good heavy spray coat like that on the old carburetor. You ain't hurt nothing. Turn your paper upside down and just hold it down on there for just a second. Just like that right there. Just hold it down on that. That's all you got to do. This is the old way. You can even do car carburetors like this. When you're making a gasket, where you don't have to go buy one. Because all it is is a piece of paper. Now there is your gasket. Look at it. Ain't that pretty? So all we got to do now is take this gasket. And uh, we're going to heat it up with a hair dryer a little bit. Make sure it's dry. A little bit like that right there. We're just going to heat it up. Let it sit for a few minutes. I mean, you can let it sit as long as you want to. We're going to heat it up a little bit with a hair dryer. Should be dry. Dry enough. Now, what you want to do now is you want to look at your carburetor. You want to look at your old gasket. We know the old gasket's only got one hole here. And a hole for the for the uh, for the screws to go in. So that's what we're basically doing. Now you got to remember this is reversed. So if you're looking at your carburetor, you're looking at it like that. So you want to be sure you drill the right holes. And just take your drill bit, stick it in your paper, put it down on your workbench or wherever you're working at. Drill your hole through it like that right there. That's all we're doing. Now we're going to get this little spot right here. We're going to use the same size bit. That ain't going to hurt. That ain't going to mess it up. Now see, now we got our holes in there. The holes that we need for our carburetor. The only one we don't have is a center hole. Now all we're going to do here, is we're just going to cut it out with a pair of scissors. Just like so. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut this puppy out. You don't have to have that top piece there. It ain't got to be perfect on the cutout on it. I may just get it about the way you needed to get it there. And that will save you from having to wait on a gasket. If you live out here in the country like I do, I will save you from having to wait on a gasket. Now, I'll get back with y'all here in just a minute. All right, everybody, that's a brand new carburetor gasket. Didn't have to go by one. Let's go out here to the boat motor. All right, everybody, we're out here on the engine. I done got it basically about broke apart. Here's the two differences in the carburetors. The only difference is the throat's just a little bit bigger, but it ain't gonna matter. It's gonna run anyhow. They're gonna run, it's gonna take care of business. Uh, just follow, just take all your water. It's not but two bolts holding it in. The throttle, throttle linkage. One gas line. Follow your lines around. You got to unhook this little box here. And uh, you come up here, there'll be two blue wires right here. You unplug them like that. Pull your old carburetor out. Okay? When you put the new one in, it don't really matter which way the blue wires go. It'll work all the same. It'll work the same. Just feed them back through the hole over here where you come out of. There's a little hole here in the front. Feed them back through that little hole right there. And they'll come right on up out there. Just plug them back in, tuck your wires back in like they go up in there. See, everything just push and shove on these things. Male to female, that's the way it's supposed to go. All right, we're gonna get this thing hooked up. We'll be right back with you. Hey, I brought y'all back in the shop and I'm gonna show you something. Remember what I said? To throat was bigger this is the 
the original uh, I don't know what to call uh, what to call this thing. I don't forget. And now, this is the original one right here that come off my boat. It's, they, some people call them restrictor plates, but that ain't what this is. But look, I want to show you something. It's the carburetor here that come off the boat. Okay, can't see it. That's a. It's smaller. See that white ring inside there? This carburetor here is smaller than the twenty horsepower. Now this is a. This here is a twenty five here we put on there. Uh, here when we first got it. Now, I want to show you this. Line it up there. See, the exact same size. Now, that's what I was telling you about, about the carburetors. Where did you go there? I got you down here in the floor. Ain't it? That's what I was telling you. This is set up for a 20 to 25 horsepower carburetor. Well, when you put the 15 horsepower carburetor on there, it's not as big as this hole right here. So this restricts the airflow going to the engine. So we're going to get it put together. We'll show you how it runs. And I'll be back with y'all in just a minute. All right, everybody. I got my barrel here set up. I like to run them in a barrel because I just, I just put a new water pump in this one. I want to be sure she's pumping good. Still put a little ear must on it. I like running them in a barrel anyhow because when you work on them, you're running them with ear muffs, uh, it's losing back pressure. So that's another old timer's trick. You put you, when you got them in a barrel, you can tune, fine tune the carburetor better than with a set of ear muffs. Number one, you can't hear as good. Number two, there's no back pressure on the exhaust. These motors, any boat motor has to have a little back pressure on it to make it run smooth. So. Uh, I got the carburetor in. What we're doing is this is a 25 horsepower carburetor on a 15 horsepower F four stroke 15 horse Yamaha. Uh, like I told y'all before, look at your specs side by side on your motors. The 15 horse and the 20 horse is the exact same engine. The only difference is the carburetor. There's going to be people out there say I'm crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Buy you one, put it on your boat, put your speed on app on your phone, and you be the judge because it's going to run faster. Okay, we're going to give it a try. We're going to give it a try now. It's been running real rough. It won't hardly run, so I'm crossing my fingers. Y'all right here with me. I have not cold. I have not cranked this engine up at all. See, I mean, this engine is completely cool. I'm pulling with exhaust and everything. I mean, it's cold. Uh, if I have my temp gun, I'd throw my temp gun on and show you. Alright, let's see if it'll crank. Let's see if it'll crank up here. On these here, if, if you don't know, I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there that uh, is new to boat motors and working on things, and that's what these videos on YouTube and Facebook's all about. But on these motors, they don't have a choke. They have an automatic choke, and that's what this is. Uh, you turn your throttle about four or five times wide open, four or five times real quick. And that sets your choke, okay? That's so all you gotta do. Put it back in the idle position and crank it, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That drops your automatic float. Here we go. We're gonna set for the crank. I have to adjust it a little bit. Oh, look at that. Cold crank. Most of all repair job. The water pump pumping good. Hey. Listen. Y'all hear how smooth that's running? Now on a new carburetor, you might have to adjust the idle speed a little bit. We're gonna let it warm up and then we'll adjust it button. The back pressure of the motor tells you a lot when you're adjusting motor drive. An old, old fashioned mechanic like myself will tell you, no back pressure on the engine, you ain't adjusting it right. Simple as that. It's running pretty good. I got them. I got them bolt up a couple of things. I ain't got bolted it back on. I ain't got the covers back on. Let's just wrap up a little bit. Now look at that. 25 horsepower carburetor on a 15 horse Yamaha. Okay, the choke just calmed down a little bit. We're going to idle up the hair. I want to 
want y'all to listen to that puppy purr. Hang on, I'm gonna go get them carburetors in my shade, son. All right, I got two carburetors here. This here is a 20 horse, 15 to 20 horse. It's a 20 horse carburetor. Okay? Take a good look at it. This is the original carburetor that come on my boat motor, the 15 horsepower carburetor. See? Show them, show them, Jake. Same. Oh, I got to turn around. Same exact carburetor. No difference. Well, this hole, the throat's just a hat. I mean, just, I don't know how you say that. I ain't no mathematician, but it's, it's a hair bigger rounder than this one. All right, let's look in it. See if we can look in it in there. Turn around back. All right. Can you see the jet in there on this one? See the jet? How it sticks up in there and how it's bigger? This is a 20 horse carburetor. This is a 15. You don't see the jet in there. See it's gone. No jet. Nowhere to be found in there. <laughs> Barely can't see the end of it sticking up. Okay? Side by side comparison. This is 20 on this side, 15 on this side. I guess you can see in there. Okay? 25 horse is just a little bit bigger jet than 20. 18 mile an hour on a John boat. 25 mile an hour on a John boat. 30 mile an hour on a John boat. Honest to God's truth, you got it right here with Grandpa Cotton. You're seeing it with your own eyes, you're seeing it run. I can't rev it all the way up because it's got a rev limber on it. I met a 20 15 horsepower boat motor that you ever heard with that much giddy up to them. Now, you be the judge. Look at your specs. The only difference between this 15 and the 25 is the size piston. And they're about that much different. But I'm going to tell you, it won't hurt your motor. The motor will run fine. you get more power out your boat. You heard it from Grandpa Cotton. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like the video. Till the next time, Grandpa Cotton is. Oh, wait. Take a kid fishing. Take a kid hunting program. You gotta come check me out on that. On Facebook. Grandpa Cotton is gone. Listen to it.